Welcome back everyone to Pontus Phantom Hobbies. This is Eldritch Horror Season 6, Episode 12. Uh, we're on turn 13 of Masks of Nyarlathotep. And it is very, it's getting very exciting here. So a quick recap of what's come before. I don't think I've ever seen a character with this many items. Courtesy of our departed uh, Preston, the millionaire who was devoured by the rising forces of Nyarlathotep. Father Mateo has achieved his uh, personal quest of the charitable father, which gives a, uh, he can gain a focus every time he gets a boon condition, which he gets every time he closes a gate. So we're gonna unleash him upon the world as a gate closing uh, dynamo. Uh, also new character, Daniela Reyes to take the place, joining the fight, already proving to be a huge um, success in gate closing, monster fighting. And lastly, our haunted Calvin Wright, who also seems to have quite a collection of spells himself. Uh, he has got his Calvin's will, sort of overcome his past issues with haunting from Nyarlathotep. So let's jump right into uh, turn 13. Uh, Mythos stack is getting pretty low, right? We're, we've just closed the order of the bloated woman here, right? So this we finished this off. Let's grab our new mystery as a result. So we get a, a next mystery, maybe just to let's shuffle them up a bit. Okay, and we get our second mystery, the Cult of the Bloody Tongue. There's a horrific picture of some kind of, some kind of creature. It, it looks a bit like this, this, in, this figure, but with, imagine with a tongue coming out, right? And uh, okay, so let's read it. Second mystery. Maweru, a fanatical manipulative priestess with a dark agenda, has surfaced in Kenya. From within a hidden lair, the, she leads a cult in the service of an unspeakable deity, the Bloody Tongue. When this card enters play, set aside all Cult of the Bloody Tongue adventures and then draw the Mountain of the Black Wind adventure. So the Cult of the Bloody Tongue, one two and three uh, okay so we've got these pulled out uh, I gotta say the, I, I like the uh, Nyarlathotep expansion this is makes it extra dynamic it makes it much more uh, narrative so let's start out with the first card uh, here and you see the creature with the cult of the bloody tongue on the cover uh, here and our new adventure says, Cult of the Bloody Tongue, Mountain of the Black Wind. You search for information regarding the whereabouts of Maweru and her ilk, but danger is afoot. The Cult of the Bloody Tongue is searching for you as well. When the card enters play for each clue on a space adjacent to the heart of Africa, move them to the heart of Africa. With this adventure is complete, draw the attack into trance. Okay, so we have to basically put the adventure is on Heart of Africa right now. So when we resolve a research encounter, we may spend any number of clues to place those clues on this card. OK, so this pyramid token and this token both move into the Heart of Africa. And I think we've decided that maybe this is where uh, maybe we should move next so uh, I think Father Mateo is the closest uh, even though his gate closing powers uh, maybe I will send Calvin down to Sydney all right it gets it gets complicated because the clock is ticking here so let's see uh, let's see what we can do um, let's start out with Danielle Reyes she um, let's have her close that gate that she's on already. 
Uh, she will also heal up. So let's have her heal. And let's have her um, so she can use those clues for rerolls too. Let's have her gain another resource. When she performs a rest action, she gains a resource. So she's done that once per round. So she's performed a rest action, she gains a resource, and let's just, she has plenty of rerolls. So let's just, to facilitate her maybe moving on to the next adventure, let's also have her get a train ticket. So that'll be, uh, she'll close this gate, and uh, Father Mateo next. Father Mateo will go. I guess he should close this gate while he's here. So let's have him spend a ship token as well. And he can move one, two. And he can close this gate with the gug. He can get a boon condition and and he can uh, that can help him as well. And he can use that boon to cancel out any uh, he can share that boon condition as well. So let's see if we can get a good boon condition for Father Mateo. Close a gate. Uh, and then let's send Calvin down to Sydney, but he will also get a boat ticket because he will make his way back t towards... He'll make his way back towards uh, the heart of Africa. So he's going to kind of take this route to heart of Africa. Okay, so let's go with that. Um, uh, end of action phase. Let's move into encounters phase. So first off, it's Daniel Reyes entering into the Tokyo um, Tokyo portal. You discover an era of technolo technological marvels. Using a small handheld device, people are able to communicate with others around the globe and access vast amounts of knowledge. You try to figure out how one of these devices work. Okay, so she's going to try to figure out these devices that are like cell phones. Smartphone. She passes. You find the means to seal this doorway. Close this gate. Okay, great. She closes a gate. And there's plenty of other information, but much of it is lies. So the she will roll um, her observation here. And she, she doesn't make it, but I'm going to spend two clues here and have her re-roll again. Okay, now I'm all in. Let's spend another two. Oh, let's spend another one. How many times do I roll? Okay, so let's spend the last clue. It's like a gambling addiction here. Six. Okay, finally, she spent all that to gain two clues. If you pass, you identify the truth, you gain back two clues. Okay, so she spent a bunch of clues to gain clues. It was kind of silly. Uh, anyway, but I don't want her to gain a debt condition, so I think that's, I had to pass it. I don't want a debt condition because there's, I don't want her to be burdened by these things. So I used up a bunch of re-rolls, maybe wasted a bunch of re-rolls, but that's okay. We'll get more. Um, next up is, so close the gate in Tokyo. So good job for her. Next up, it's Father Mateo uh, fighting a gug. So if you defeat, defeat the monster, you don't resolve an additional encounter. Huh. That stinks. Let's have him defeat the monster, and then he can do the encounter next turn. I guess it's like a time waster. Right, so let's have him do the uh, will check first. Two, so he's good with the will check. Let's have him do the strength check, which he has a bunch of pluses here. Um, 
he can re-roll, he can spend one Eldritch token to re-roll up to two dice. Mm, it's miserable. Okay, all of that rolling, he just did one damage to this Gug. Uh, let's go another round then. He'll do back to his will check. Passes the will check back to an attack check. One, two, three, four. Uh, and I also, I think his attack sixes count as two attacks, so it's five suddenly. And now he's killed that monster. But he, at, per the card, it says, if you defeat this monster during combat, you do not have an additional encounter. So it's just like fighting the Gug kind of takes all their steam out of you. So he'll have to close that gate next turn. It's kind of a time waster. If I, if I had read that, I might not have moved him there. It might have just sent him to Heart of Africa because now it's... Okay, so then we have Calvin... Calvin has an encounter simply in in Sydney. Don Bradman perfects your cricket game. Improve his strength. So, okay, strength plus two now. You try to get the press to give the athlete some privacy. Uh, if you pass, if you pass... He tells other experts about you. Improve one skill of your choice. Well, this is great. So let's have him in improve his influence. Uh, so really improving here, as is the case in Sydney. So he can improve his influence. And uh, that'll be it for the encounters phase. Now, here's the moment of truth. I think we might be spawning... Uh, Nyarlathotep pretty soon here. We're, we're down to the last few Mythos cards. So let's see what we get. Okay, the Voice of Mammon. So right off the bat, our Mythos card has us advance the Omen. So we move it to here. Uh, we have one... We have one gate open, right? Advance Doom for each gate that corresponds to the open... Dun, dun, dun. We are on zero, so this is not good for our investigators. Father Mateo off in Antarctica trying to close a gate. Everyone else just kind of lost, just really kind of disconnected here. Maybe not really good research management on the on the game player's choice, but that's fine. So when Nyarlathotep awakens, flip the sheet and resolve the Nyarlathotep attack awakens effect on the back so final mystery Nyarlathotep awakens place one eldritch token on the red space of the omen track then move the omen to that space without advancing doom so we're going to take an eldritch token right and we move it here we don't advance doom it's already advanced uh, final mystery after you resolve an expedition encounter or a mystic ruins encounter, you may gain the eye of light unique asset or the eye of darkness unique asset, which I think he has already. Does he have the eye of light? Somebody has the eye of light. Eye of darkness we have already. At the beginning of the mythos phase, if two mysteries, mysteries have been solved, then all the investigators are on the and all the investigators are on the same space and they both possess the eye of light and the eye of darkness. Each investigator may spend a total of six health and sanity to complete the game. When you have Eldritch tokens equal to or greater than your maximum sanity, you are devoured. Each time Doom would advance, each investigator gains one Eldritch token instead. Okay. So when Doom advances from now on, we gain Eldritch tokens. When we have more Eldritch tokens uh, than sanity... We, we lose. And also, um, when the omen advances back to the red space, so we've got basically four advancements of the token to get back to uh, to stop Nyarlathotep. So, so, final mystery. After you resolve an expedition encounter or a mystic ruins encounter. So we can go, we can fast track right over to this expedition or mystic ruins. So, oh, 
So next turn, Daniel Reyes, she can do a Mystic Ruins encounter. You may gain the Eye of Light or the Eye of Darkness, right? So we already have the Eye of, we have the Eye of Darkness already. And then does he have the Eye of Light? So she can gain the Eye of Light and then we just have to all group onto the that space over there. So I think it's just going to be a, a race race to the clock back that way. So let's um, Calvin can go. What's the best way to go? Um, maybe he goes one, two. And Father Matteo goes one, two. And then they go one, two. That's two spaces. So, well, she can also come the next space and maybe we can meet in San Francisco or something like that. Okay, so that's our, our game plan. Let's see if we can do that in four turns. Um, yeah, it looks like a challenge. So that is going to be it for our, oh wait, let's just finish our Mythos card. That's not quite it, right? So let's just go, keep going. We have a reckoning still. So we've advanced that. We've awakened Yarlithotep. We still have a few more things to reckon here. So we've got a reckoning. Um, we still gain half Eldritch tokens. So we'll give one to Father Mateo and we will give um, one to Calvin Wright, I guess. Because uh, he has the power to regenerate and heal a little bit more. Uh, we will have a reckoning. So that's the first reckoning. The Shugoth. Monsters recover health. That's fine. Daniela, does she have any reckonings? No. Father Mateo, he has a few reckonings here. He has uh, guts. No, he has uh, a hallucination. Let's have him roll. He has to test mind. So, and he gets a plus for that test as well. And he can re-roll if he has ones. Gets a six, he passes his mind test. Um, we don't have to flip the card because we didn't fail. And Messenger, we did not roll the one, so we don't flip the card. So his reckonings have passed. Uh, next is Calvin Wright's reckonings. Calvin Wright still has a dark pack and a markings of Isis. So let's have him test first his influence. And he passes. So no reckoning for markings of Isis. Dark Pact. Uh, does not roll a one. So he passes his reckoning. So great. We are still in the game. Spawn a gate. Hyperborea space. Great. Hyperborea space 13. Put a monster up there. Go into the bag here and find us a zombie. So a zombie of Hyperborea gets spawned. And now finally we read the last of the Mythos card. It says, Voice of Mammon. Something has driven the people to blind panic. Despite all the creature comforts of their home, they are convinced what they are doing of starvation. They're dying of starvation exposure. Like desperate animals, they claw and scratch at you and your belongings. Each Investigator loses two health and sanity unless they spend a resource. So resource spent does not lose. Um, resource spent does not lose. And Calvin has to spend, uh, lose two and two because he does not have a resource. So he will spend, two, he will lose two and two. And so yeah, let's get some resources going uh, in the next round too. So everyone has gone, completed Mythos, and that is going to wrap it up for turn 13. Uh, that was quite a long one. Should we go to turn 14 too? Sure, let's go to turn 14. So let's just jump to turn 14 and keep going. So um, Danielle, she will, I think she should purchase... Um, well, maybe she'll do a rest action, right? So let's have her do a rest action and she'll gain a resource as a result. 
So she rests and gets four. And she will gain an automatic resource. And then let's have her go to here, right? And then that's connecting to there, correct? Yep. And then she can uh, move forward with that. Okay, let's have Father Mateo also um, not going to close the gate, I guess. Or should he stay and close the gate, have Calvin go ahead with the boat ticket? So Calvin will pick up another boat ticket while he's here. He'll spend his boat ticket by moving here, and he'll pick up another boat ticket. Uh, for now and just do an encounter here. He's going to try to get himself closer to uh, Daniela and then maybe they can meet around here. And I guess the same thing for Father Mateo. Uh, he's in Antarctica. Should he bother to close the gate? Maybe the boon condition can help him out. So let's have him close the gate. Uh, he will heal up. He will rest. Um, and that will help him out. He rests. Uh, madness done. Tome. Let me just go through his powers here. Magical relic. You may reroll one dice. You may spend a clue to reroll up to two dice. When you gain this cartoon deck, you resolve to reduce the monsters you encounter to a to a minimum of one. Oh, that's okay. And once per round, when you spend a focus, you gain a focus. Oh yeah, so he never actually lost that focus. He spent the focus and gained it back last round. Uh, and then when you add one to the results of the die, test this. When you gain this card, gain one relic or unique asset. When you gain a boon condition, gain a focus. Okay, so he can gain a focus if he closes gate. Let's have him do that. Um, not totally time wasting here, but let's uh, let's have have them move forward like this. So, okay, so let's go to Daniela Ray. So she is going to have an encounter on Mystic Ruins, which is a requirement for the final mystery. So, final mystery. No, we have to close this mystery still. Shoot. Okay, so maybe Calvin should go into Heart of Africa for now and still have some clues. Mu, uh, Tiag, the high priest of Shub Nigarath, leads the ascended Yadish Gao to the face of Ganthothoa. He offers you a reward in exchange for helping him to create a scroll that will protect him from the god's terrible petrifying gaze. So uh, let's, let's make a roll. She will test her. She passes. Tiag rewards you with the means to real portals to to seal portals between worlds. Close one gate of your choice on any space. Okay, so let's just close. We got a green one coming up. We got a blue one coming up. Uh, let's have her just close this gate, Tunguska, the green one, because that's coming up. Uh, okay, and then. Uh, Gata Noah's priests are aware of your help and try to catch you unprepared. So, once more, roll. Pass. If you fail, okay, no, no fail. So we got to close a gate out of that. Uh, kind of okay enough, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and move the mystery now to uh, nine. So the mystery moves to nine. We still have this encounter. It says... After you resolve an expedition counter or Mr. Kinkin, you may gain the Eye of Light unique asset or the Light of, Dark Light of Darkness unique asset. So she will gain. We already have the Light of Eye of Darkness unique asset. Let's have her gain the Eye of Light unique asset. And then at the beginning of the Mythos phase, we need to have two mysteries solved and all the investigators in the same place. So our, our, we still have to close this mystery. So I believe that means Calvin going to resolving research encounters, spending clues. And when there's two clues on, on this card, we can close the, set, the first part 
Oh, I don't think we're going to make it, guys. But let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Next is Father Mateo to close a gate. Father Mateo will close the gate, jumps through in Antarctica. The lost Carcosa. Turning the corner, you suddenly find yourself on stage. Other actors. So, so Father Mateo goes to Antarctica. There's a portal there. Can you imagine the image, right? There's a portal opened up in the snow of, of Antarctica. Right? Father Mateo goes through and he's in Las Carcosa and he's on the stage. Other actors speak their dialogue and looked at you. Someone offstage passes you the script, but the text is difficult to interpret. Yeah, I bet. Okay, so he rolls his check, passes. The audience applauds your performance and the curtain falls. Close this gate. Uh, you consider sticking around for the second show in hopes of picking up details you missed the first time. You become to, you may become delayed to gain two clues. So does this count as an encounter that we can take clues from? No, it says a research encounter. This is not a research encounter. This is an other world's encounter. So I don't want to become delayed to gain two clues. But I close the gate and I will claim my boon condition. So I'll just leave this here as a reminder and I'll leave this here as a reminder. I can do that off offline. And then the uh, last one is Calvin just going to do a city encounter. Uh, the hotel security informs you a guest has been abducted. So he's staying in, 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 in a hotel uh, and they the, the inform they inform you the security informs you that a guest has been abducted so he will roll his test okay does he have a reroll can spend a eldritch token to reroll one other die you can roll up to two okay so he passes that if you pass the lyrics lead you to a floating corpse and an odd item. Gain one relic unique asset. If you fail, the music haunts you. No, so we didn't fail. So we gain one relic unique asset. Let's get that also. Okay. Here we go. The dreaded moment is Mythos phase. We're down to our last three Mythos cards. We still have three adventures to complete. So we advance the omen, first of all, for the 40 elephants. The omen advances. We do not have um, any... So it says, each time Doom would advance, each investigator gains one Eldritch token. So we don't gain Eldritch tokens from a Doom advance. We do have a monster spawn. So we can spawn a few monsters on the open gates. So we have the two gates open, and we have to do two spawnings. So we have a, 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 a ghoul, and we have a formless spawn. And then we also have to do two more monster surge on the Himalayas. We have a night gaunt, a night gaunt, which looks frightening, and a leopard man. So all of these kind of emerge out of the gate of the Himalayas, which is always a bad sign. And we'll spawn two clues. Check the clue bag out, spawn two clues. What is this clue supposed to be on? 21. Well, I think this clue was on a, on a one of the uh, 21. This Oh, this is the clue that Calvin had before, I think. So move this one off. Um, we have a clue in here and a clue in Rome. So we spawn two clues. On two clues. Okay, now, well, maybe Calvin can work his way up through these clues uh, because he has to go this way anyway, and then they can meet over here uh, to finalize. The 40 elephants, the, mon the notorious British thieves, have been plundering valuables from around the world, including your property. To make things worse, unless you convince the police of the truth, you are the prime suspect of the thefts committed. The 40 elephants event. Each investigator chooses one item asset they have at the highest value among the item assets they possess. And then each investigator tests for influence. 
Each investor who rolls fewer successes than assets discards that assets and gains a detained condition. So, okay, so let's get, um, go through. And asset value. So Father Mateo has the grotesque compendium for four. Uh, Daniela Reyes has an ancient manuscript for three. And Calvin Wright has a um, elder sign for two. Okay. So now we have to roll a influence test. Okay, so roll an influence test. Influence test. Okay, so she passes three. So she's okay. Each investor goes fewer is detained. Okay. So then Father Mateo, he's going to roll an influence test. He has five, but he is also able to do a number of things. So when he has to roll an influence test, he can. He can re-roll when he spends a focus he can gain a focus so he can do that one he can re-roll with that um, he can oh he yeah he can also um, roll a die. He can spend an Eldritch token to re-roll a die as well. So he has those two that he can do. Um, so he will start out with this. He needs to re get a four. So he gets a five. Let's have him um, spend this to re-roll these. He gets four. So I think he's okay. Four. Compendium four. Let's go to Calvin Wright. Calvin Wright can test. He just needs to test two. He has four. He can also re-roll a die. And he can use an Eldritch token to re-roll a die. So he has zero here. Let's have him use his Eldritch token. And he gets a free re-roll. And he gets... Um, Okay, he gets. Okay, so he can re-roll these. So he gets two. So he is also okay with his um, elder sign. So no one is detained. That was good. So they actually keep their items and yeah, okay, so cool. So they're, they, they've not been, I guess, it's, so the idea of it is, you know, uh, Daniela Reyes has an ancient manuscript. Father Mateo has a gross pet, grotesque compendium. And Calvin Wright has the elder sign. They get accused of stealing those. But then they use their influence to negotiate their way out of it. And they don't have to, to, to give up the items. So that's the, kind of the, that's the kind of the mechanic that was at, at, at work there. Okay, so relatively okay mythos card. Unfortunately, we only have two left. So... Uh, let's, let's call it a, let's call it a stop for now. Uh, we'll see you again in turn 15. Um, check out the link here. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like and a subscribe if you could and talk to you in the next round. Getting really psyched for this. It's coming down to the wire. What do you guys think? Who's going to win? Nyarlathotep or the investigators? I'm guessing it's Nyarlathotep, but uh, leave a comment. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.